Hello, I'm Ali Stokes and today we're at the Recreation Grounds to talk to Premiership Rugby and Hawkeye about the system they brought in this season to try and identify and prevent concussions. Now, we've seen a little bit in the news about them bringing it in, but we're going to show you some behind the scenes footage of exactly what is going on, how they're using it, and really, is it working? I spoke to Hawkeye technician Steve in the bath changing room who showed me the system the club's medical staff used to assess HIAs, including eight camera angles, the new ability to track players of concern in-game, and explained why potentially concussed players are being taken better care of this season. Last season they had two, we've now got eight different angles. So, two of those angles are the high, wide angles that are, that are needed to track recovery, see how players are getting up post, possibly a head knock, and therefore be able to track if they are concussed in any way as well as four or five tighter angles that then allow them to actually identify exactly you know, what that head collision was. So fundamentally it's just safeguarding the players and watching out for their welfare even better because rather than just having one look at that, um, you know, that incident when you're watching the match, they then have eight camera angles to then you know, reflect and make better decisions on you know, was that collision a concussive incident and therefore should this player be removed from a HIA or permanently removed if it's significant enough. Next, Steve took us to a spot on the stands in which a PVR, that's a pitch side video viewer to you and me, sits to watch the game live and capture clips of potential concussive incidents on their Hawkeye tablet, providing doctors with the appropriate clips and angles by the time they've taken the short jog from the sideline and back into the changing rooms. The location where we're at now is where the DVR sits for that. Uh, they're provided by the club and they're obviously medically trained, uh, and their job throughout the match is for concussion surveillance. So they're watching the match with the help of the uh, video review tablets um, to be able to identify if there's any instances that need to be reviewed by the match they got. I was also given the opportunity to talk to Matt Cross, Premiership Rugby's Research and Development Manager. In addition to highlighting the vital increase from two camera angles to eight, the fact that clubs are sent clips of concussive incidents to further their own education and development, Matt revealed to me that there has been a huge 30% increase in the number of potentially concussed players removed from games since the introduction of video technology. The early results of Premiership Rugby's concussion prevention protocols seem hugely positive, and with the work being done by World Rugby alongside leading sports scientists to address the very techniques and laws of the game itself, rugby seems to be heading in the right direction as far as concussion is concerned.